Hi, I'm Dave Early, and I want to help you be a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. And one of the keys to becoming a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ is effective daily Bible reading, Bible study, Bible meditation, Bible memorization, as well as prayer. Let's talk about uh, ways to be more effective when you read your Bible. You need a time. Have a time every day when you read the Bible. What's your time? Uh, seven in the morning, noon, seven in the evening, ten in the evening. Uh, when I first started reading the Bible every day, I made a commitment. I was up at 530 and I would read three chapters of the Bible every day. I figured if I read three a day, I'll get through the Bible in a year. Second thing is an amount of time. How much time are you going to give to this? One chapter, you five minutes, three chapters, maybe 15 minutes. Uh, more or go slower and concentrate 30 minutes. How much time are you going to block out? It's an appointment you're making with God and his word every day. You got a place. I suggest a place that's quiet, a place that's private. My place has been on a bus. My place has been at, at the uh, kitchen table, at the dining room table, at, at, at a desk, in the library. You got to find a place that is quiet and private where you can study study and read the Bible. I suggest you have a plan going into it. You don't just open the Bible somewhere and start reading. Uh, have a plan kind of what you're going to do. I'm going to do a chapter a day, three chapters a day, ten chapters a day. Am I going to start in the Old Testament and read my way through the New Testament? Or am I going to go back and forth, read a chapter of the Old Testament, read a chapter of the New Testament? I kind of suggest that because it, uh, keeps it from getting dull when you get into some of the places that are like Leviticus, where it's just a lot of lists and things. Uh, repeated reading, I suggest that. Sometimes I'll take a book of the Bible or a set of chapters in the Bible, and I'll read those every day for a month. I'll read at least some of those every day for a month. It's amazing. Every time you read it, you get more out of it. At the end of that month, you've really grown in your understanding. And that's stuff you can remember and apply to your life. Are you going to memorize it? I, I kind of put my spiritual life on steroids when I began memorizing Scripture. I, I started out memorizing about trying to memorize four or five verses a week. And it's amazing. If, if you do that, you just spend you know, 20 minutes a day going over those verses again and again and again and again. Uh, First year or two that I began that, I memorized the book of Philippians, the book of James, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, different chapter, different Psalms, different Isaiah 53. And it became life changing for me to really get that truth. It became easy to meditate and apply on scripture because I memorized it. I suggest you start with prayer. Whatever your plan and all that is, start with prayer. Psalm 119, verse 18 is a good one. Open my eyes that I can behold wondrous things out of thy law. Hey, God, speak to me today. Here I am. I'm all in. Speak to me today. Expectation. I'm expecting you to work. I'm expecting to, to learn some truth, to learn some things that are going to help me. Listening. Uh, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. It's amazing. When I started reading the Bible, it was like there was something in there every day that was exactly what I needed for that day. Mark, underline, circle. If you look at my Bible, um, there's you know a lot of marks in it. I underline key verses. I put boxes around them. I circle uh, the number around them. I'll circle the verse. I circle names. I put a block around verbs. I want to I want to mark it up so I can get understand it. Prayer. Look for a prayer out of what you just read, what you just studied, what you just memorized. God, I thank you for this that I just learned. God, I, that this is true about you. God, I praise you that, that you are this type of God as described in these verses. God, I confess I'm struggling with what this is talking about right here. I'm not doing it. I, I've struggled to do it. God, uh, here's a promise that you gave me. I want to claim that promise that is in this verse that I just read. I want to claim that promise. What I do with the promises I really like, I'll write them in the back of my, my prayer journal. 
And so I got a list of promises that I pray through. And I just keep praying through that promise. My life changed. I did three things. I, uh, I read the Bible three chapters every morning. I tried to study it at half an hour at noon. And I tried to study one psalm every day. I would read it, pray it, mark it up, summarize it. I had a little notebook. I'd write that's the, the, the key part of that psalm into one or two sentences and then apply it. God, because of this psalm, help me to, I will do these things. And so my spiritual life really grew. And then uh, later on in the day, I would try to go through these verses I was trying to memorize. It's amazing how much I grew in two or three years of just giving myself to the Word of God. I want to encourage you. You have more time than you think, and this is more important than you realize. This will change your life. I encourage you, if you want to be a disciple, you've got to abide in His Word. If you do, you'll know the truth, and the truth will make you free. I want to encourage you to be a disciple, and I want to encourage you to make disciples. God bless you.